If you just signed up for MailerLite and need a quick tour of the app, I got you covered. In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of where things are around your dashboard so you can hit the ground running using MailerLite. With that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. Once you log into your MailerLite account, you'll be brought to the dashboard here. This is where you'll be able to access all our tools and different options using the sidebar here. To get started, here in the top right corner, if we click this drop down menu, we are presented with My Profile and Logout. If you click on My Profile, you can see that it gives you some basic options to change, like your first name, your password, your email. You can also enable two factor authentication, change the language, and of course, change the theme, whether it be light or dark. Now let's head back over to our dashboard. And here in the top left, you can see if you click this drop down menu, you can either add a new MailerLite account or if you already have pre existing accounts, here is where you'll be able to switch them. From here, we can jump to account settings. Here is where you can change your account details, such as your company name, your website URL, even your time zone. In the default settings here, you can change things like your default sender, and you can also upload a default logo that will be displayed anywhere you have a logo placeholder in your campaigns or landing pages. Down in the domains tab, this is where you can add sending domains, you can verify and authenticate them. If you'd like to learn more about the authentication and verification process and or custom domains, you can go ahead and click on these links here. Next up, we have our link tracking. This is where you can set up your UTM tags. And staying within the account settings, you can jump to your plan and billing. This is where you will essentially manage the plan that you are currently under, the billing information, your payment methods, and previous invoices of the service. Down below that, you do have the users. Here you will be able to manage the active users that are attached to this particular account. Below that, we do have the domains, which we've already gone over. And below that, we have a subscribe settings tab. This is where you can edit the content for your confirmation email. You can pick the subject. And down below, you have a preview. The same goes for the confirmation thank you page. You can edit the content here, and you have the preview as well. From here, we can go to unsubscribe settings. Here you will see we have the unsubscribe form. And if you'd like to edit the content of that form, you can go ahead and click here. And if you need to see the unsubscribe stats, you can go ahead and just click on this unsubscribe stats tab. Continuing on, we do have our preference center. If you are on an advanced plan, this is where you can build the preference center that will allow your recipients to update their subscription details and use interactive forms to gather their feedback. And last but not least, we have email notifications. By entering your email here, you can get quick email alerts when a subscriber joins or unsubscribes from your mailing list. Up here, you have your activity notifications, so you can also get a monthly summary of new subscribers and your account stats sent directly to your email monthly. Over here, we have billing notifications, so you can get email updates about your subscription. Jumping back to our dashboard, from here, we can click on our campaigns tab. This is where you can manage all of your current campaigns, which are your emails. So for example, we can go ahead and actually create a new campaign by clicking create. And here you can choose your campaign type, whether that would be regular campaign, AB split campaign, RSS campaign, or auto resend campaign. From here, we can jump to our subscribers tab. This is where you can manage all of your subscribers. You can search through them using a filter through email groups, fields, etc. Or if you'd like to perform certain actions on your subscribers, you can do so by selecting them and clicking the actions button here. And you can add them to a group, remove them from a group, move to unsubscribe, delete, and even download them. Under the segments tab, this is where you can create segments. The same with groups, which you can also use as tags. And if you click under the fields here, you can see what is currently available. However, if you'd like to create a custom field, you can also do so by clicking create a field. Your stats is where you can see the history and the growth of your current mailing list. You can also quickly clean up inactive subscribers here, and you can also see the history of the changes that you have made. Now, if we go back to all subscribers here, if you do want to add subscribers, you can quickly and easily do it by clicking the add subscribers button here. 
And from here, we can go to our forms tab. And here we have three different types of forms that you can easily create. We have your pop-up, which will give you several pop-up types, including floating bars and side boxes. You can click on embedded forms, and this will allow you to create a form and embed it directly into your website. This is also GDPR friendly. And we also have our promotions form, which will allow you to display important information like announcements or new discounts on your web pages. You can go ahead and click create to create your form. Next up, we have sites. And here we have two different options. You have your landing page here, which is a perfect way to engage new people and collect more signups. And of course, you have your website. Here you can build a professional website exactly how you want with our drag and drop editor. To simply get started, go ahead and click create. Next up, we have automation. If you've ever submitted your email to an e-commerce store or an email newsletter, and shortly after either received a welcome email or a discount code, that is an automation. And the trigger was you submitting your email. You can easily create a new automation simply by clicking this button. From here, you can create an automation from scratch or use one of the many templates that we have available to help you save time. From here, we can jump to our integrations tab, and this is where you can gather a list of all the current supported integrations that we offer. Integrations with BigCommerce, Zapier, Canva, Shopify, WooCommerce, and so much more. Below that, we can jump to our file manager. Your file manager is where you can manage all of your media. This is where all the images and GIFs and things like that will be stored when you are creating your campaigns. If you'd like to upload an image, you can do so clicking this button here. We also do offer an easy way for you to add images and import them from a URL, Google Drive, and so on. Keep in mind, you can also upload your media directly from the drag and drop editor as you are building your campaign. From here, we can jump to my templates. Here's where you can create your own custom template to use in all your campaigns. Do keep in mind that creating a landing page template is a paid feature. Should you need any help or support, you can go ahead down here and click need help button. Here is where you can access our knowledge base, even our MailerLite Academy and the community to share best practices and get ideas. You can also email our support. And if you are on our advanced plans, you do have access to live chat. You also can quickly access all of these options in the bottom right corner of your screen by clicking this icon here. And if you have a friend that might be interested in using MailerLite, you can simply go over here and click refer a friend to share MailerLite with your friends or family and they'll get a $20 credit when they sign up. If they end up upgrading, you'll also get a $20 credit too. Stay up to date with new promotions and new announcements by clicking the bell notification here. Moving over to the SSO icon, if you click on this, you are brought to this page. This is where the apps you've signed up for will be and where you can switch through them, including MailerLite Classic. They will be populated right here. Below, you can also check out some of our other products like our Mailer Check product, which will allow you to validate your email in seconds, allowing you to increase your open rates and ROI with quick, reliable insights. We also have Mailer Send which has everything you need to send transactional emails, like sending invoices, delivery updates, and even forgotten password links in seconds. If you're interested in learning more about email marketing, we have a free online course to help you get started, along with our knowledge base articles to get quick answers to the most common MailerLite questions. And of course, video tutorials, so you can learn at your own pace with short and sweet instructional videos. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know as soon as a fresh video hits the channel. If you enjoy tips and tricks like this, consider subscribing to our email newsletter. The link will be down in the description below. And with that said, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.